This is breaking news from News 8. Good evening, everyone. We have a lot of breaking news to get to tonight. First, two Rochester police officers were shot tonight on Bauman Street. This is on the city's north side. It's not far from Rochester General Hospital. And in fact, one officer was taken there to RGH, the other to Strong Memorial Hospital. We do not know about conditions. We have crews stationed all over for this breaking news story. We begin, though, with Natalie Kutchko live at the scene. Natalie, we just heard from police. What did they say? Two officers were patrolling the area here. Well, good evening, Adam. Right now, we are still a few blocks off from Bowman Street, the site of where Lieutenant Greg Bellow just told us moments ago. It was around 9.30 o'clock tonight. Two Rochester police officers were shot by a suspect or suspects. The condition of those officers is unknown at this time. It is also unclear what led to this incident here tonight, but we can tell you the presence here is strong. We have seen responding agencies from Monroe County Sheriff's. We've seen Arondequoi Police. Greece police, several agencies here as well. And important to note that Lieutenant Bellow also says the department is still seeking several suspects at this time. Right now, we'll go to some of what he told us uh, just a few moments ago. So about 9.15 this evening, officers were in the area of Bowman Street as part of an investigation. During that investigation, a male, uh, at least one male approached the officers and opened fire on them. We have two officers that have been struck by gunfire at this point. Uh, one has been transported to Rochester General Hospital. One has been transported to Strong Memorial Hospital. We're still waiting up, up on condition for the officers at this point. Uh, you know, this is a, obviously a very serious incident. Um, that at this point, with the, the nature of the injuries to the officers, it, you know, we're asking for prayers and everything else we can for everybody in the community to help our officers out. And as you just heard from Lieutenant Bellow, he is identifying this as a serious incident. Again, suspects they are still looking for. We have also heard unconfirmed reports that at least one other person is injured in connection to this incident. We have not confirmed that at this time. But Lieutenant Bellow says that more updates are expected throughout the night. And of course, our coverage will continue throughout the night as well. Adam, we'll send it back to you. All right, Natalie, thank you so much for that breaking news. This is a big scene, an active scene. As noted, Lieutenant Bello saying that one officer was taken to RGH, the other to Strong Memorial Hospital. And it's at Strong where we find Alex Love live for us tonight. Alex, what are you seeing outside the hospital this evening? So far, Adam, we've been here for a little over an hour. The atmosphere is actually relatively calm. You can notice that there is a, a, a handful of police officers. They are sitting around the, the doors behind me, and they are anxiously trying to wait for some answers. We've been seeing investigators go in and out of the doors over by the emergency entrance. I'm standing right by the main entrance for paramedics and ambulances to go into, and there's been handfuls of officers uh, standing around. They don't, seem, they don't seem too frantic. They don't seem to be in any in any but they are anxiously waiting clearly for any answers. We have not been told if there will be a briefing here. We do not know the conditions of that officer who was who was taken here. But again, uh, for the last hour, we've been seeing a handful of investigators and officers go in and out of the doors uh, of, of the hospital, trying to piece together anything that, that could have happened and how they can help uh, with, with doctors. And again, a handful of, of fellow officers sitting out here, anxiously waiting across the street to figure out uh, what, what's been going on. And we'll keep trying to bring you the latest out here but again it's it's been relatively calm out here outside strong and we'll bring you the latest as we as we see more details emerge from over here live in rochester alex love news eight alex thank you as both alex and natalie mentioned we will continue to cover this breaking news story here in the city of rochester throughout news eight at 11 and beyond and of course over at rochesterfirst.com